well, the time has finally come. The friends camping trip. Uh, first time I'm going to be sleeping in a tent in a long time. And it should be fun. You know, it's going to be a learning experience, <laughs> if nothing else. And my car is full of stuff. Not packed very nicely. Olive is ready to go. Sure is. I just threw my stuff in there. Very bad, but... Uh, yeah, but I'll, I should have everything. And uh, we're going to get out of here. Fun times. <laughs> hey, so we made it to camp. We set up our tent. Most of it. Didn't put the, the top on it yet. I'll let, the, uh, let it breathe for now during the day. And uh, we have two new camp chairs. Olive's in one of them. So these are the new camp chairs. They're just uh, some Walmart specials, two of the same. I like them, especially we put these cushions in them. These are actually dog beds. Um, they don't really stay in there all that well because they're pretty new. <laughs> I think as we have them for a little while, they're going to fit in there a little better. But Olive sure likes it. Without the cushion, she would not get in this chair. She's a little freaked out about the bugs right now. So these dog beds serve multiple purposes, uh, mainly uh, for the chairs and also for my bed. So I'm gonna put both of those in here. There's Olive's bed. They'll both go in here. And yeah, this is a tiny tent. This is only a two person tent. <laughs> It's uh, even going to be tight for one person and a dog. And then I'll do an unboxing of this with you. This is not that it's very exciting because it's just one thing in there. But this is a camping uh, pad, sleeping pad for camping. And uh, it looks very small, which it is. It's really meant for backpacking. And it, uh, it's supposed to be extremely easy to blow up. It, it's about an inch and a half to two inches, I think, when inflated. And uh, that will either go on top of the dog beds or underneath. I'm not sure. I might not even need it here because the ground is very soft. It's under these uh, juniper trees and junipers make their own soil eventually. So you can see it's even almost black, the color of this. And what I did is I just went through, I wish I had a rake, but I went through and I uh, got out all the bigger pieces of wood. You can see back there, it really looks like you could plant a garden here. I moved all the rocks, all the little pieces of wood, all the, the cow poop or whatever it is, <laughs> and um, made a, a nice soft spot for all this. So like I said, I might not even need this, but I'm going to try it out. And that's my setup. We've got a little cooler and my REI table from a million years ago still works perfectly. Love it. And a little outdoor rug. This can be shaken off a million times and it will be in my car. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have shade for most of the day because of this nice big juniper. We have a nice view of the mountains over there. A nice view of the Butte. And plenty of other spots for people to put up their tents or whatever. Hopefully everyone will like it. If not, <laughs> they don't have to stay, I guess. Olive and I will be staying for at least one night. And I'm excited to test out the the new tent. Um, yeah, like I said, I think before, it's been over 20 years since I slept in a tent. I think. Maybe I did sleep in a tent, but I was in another country. <laughs> but it's still been a long time. Um, yeah, there, there's quite a few big junipers. Um, Aja is coming and she's concerned about, because she's going to camp inside of her pickup truck. And uh, she's afraid or concerned about the sun. So there's plenty of spots, I think, where she can, uh, I've already kind of identified maybe four or five right around here 
that she can pull her truck into the shade next to one of these uh, junipers. And, uh, and they're texting me right now, so maybe they're on their way. We do have reception here, so that's good. Our so this is a uh, trial camp, friend camp. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have some fun. We can't have a big bonfire, but we could have a little uh, propane fire. Keep us warm tonight, maybe. I mean, while we, while we uh, socialize, not while we sleep. But, <laughs> but yeah, this is home for now. Okay. Hi, Olive. Olive's very restless. Hopefully she'll calm down when her friends get here. Got at least two friend, dog friends coming for Olive. Uh, okay, so this little baby came from Walmart. I don't order from Walmart or purchase from Walmart very often. But the thing about it is that they, <laughs> that they will ship to where we're staying. They'll, they'll send a, they'll actually deliver it, which is great. And this one was on sale. I don't know, you know, I never know when they're actually telling the truth about it being on sale. It might, I think, I feel like a lot of times they mark it up to mark it down. And that might be the case with this, but uh, it got great ratings and it, as you can see, is very small to begin with. Uh, and I think full price, they claimed that this was something like uh, $50 or $60. Can't imagine that's true. But I know, I mean, like if you were to go to REI and buy one of these, it's definitely going to be like $70. But I think at Walmart, I think they're lying. But whatever. <laughs> it's green. So it's camouflaged, no one will see me. And let's see, they claim that this blows up very easily by your mouth, not, not by a pump or anything. Oh, that's fine. I'm not doing this right. <laughs> okay, so that goes in first because that makes it a one-way valve. <laughs> Not sure I, what I thought, how I thought the air would stay inside of this baby, but okay. Okay, that's just a few breaths, and yeah, it, it, it is filling up. I am slightly dizzy already because of, um, we're at elevation. We're nearly 7,000 feet here, I think. So yeah, anytime I kind of breathe hard, I get a little dizzy when I'm, you know, up in elevation. You can stop breathing and this valve here keeps it inflated. That wasn't very many breaths. That might have been, I don't know, a dozen breaths. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so this is pretty narrow. It's meant for just, you know, like a backpacking, you know, sleeping bag sort of situation. Uh, but I'm just one person and I don't move much when I sleep, thankfully. And, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. It's got all of these little tiny cells, you know? So, I think that makes it more comfortable, more usable than if it were to be the more traditional old style of, you know, maybe like four long tube cells on here. This has got, it looks like hundreds of little ones. Okay. 
way, get this inside here. Got the dog beds in. I'm definitely, I'm definitely thinking it's gonna be more comfortable if this is under the dog beds. Cause it's kind of noisy. Dog beds will muffle the noise a bit. But still give it a bit more cush. What do you think, Olive? She's like, oh, I'm gonna sleep on that. No, you're gonna sleep on your bed. Daddy's gonna sleep on this bed. She'll try to climb up there with me, I'm sure. Okay, so dog beds. With the uh, inflatable mattress on top of them. Yeah, that's comfortable. That is pretty comfy. How's your bed, Olive? Same as usual. <laughs> uh, good thing I have reception. I'm getting tons of texts, I guess. Or a bad thing I have reception. Uh, <laughs> I could totally sleep on this. And yes, like I said, Olive was... <laughs> Thanks, Olive. Uh, this is comfy and Olive agrees. And it's way too small for both of us to sleep on. So she will be staying on her bed. Uh, I like it. I like my cozy little tent. I'm glad I didn't get a real big one. Although, eh, I wouldn't want to be in one in inclement weather, but by chance it were to rain, it would be nice to have a bigger one because I could set up my chairs inside here too. But I have my, my vehicle. And my vehicle is nice. Um, it's, uh, one of these days I'm going to show you on video. Uh... <laughs> That vehicle is was made to go camping in, to sleep in, and the seats turn into a bed and a few other things. And one of these days I'll show you. Olive and I have camped in there several times. Uh, I always think I'm comfortable and cozy in there, but I just it, it's just a struggle for me. So to do car camping in there for multiple nights, it's rough. I've done three nights in a row in it, and... I was just ready to get out of it. So I think having this tent will make it uh, just nice to have another option. If nothing else, I can put stuff in here to make more room inside of the vehicle and then end up sleeping in the vehicle or vice versa. So it's nice to have this as just like I'm, it's almost like adding a, <laughs> oh, stop. It's nice having, um, it's like adding another room to my camp setup. So, I like it. <laughs> Olive's after the flies, but there is a, a big old cicada that she doesn't even realize is there because it's blending in. Olive. <laughs> so I've been hearing the cicadas, but I haven't seen any until we got here. This is the second one I've seen. Big cicadas which Olive has no interest in, but Olive wants to catch the flies. Probably because the cicada doesn't bother her. The flies dive bomb her. <laughs> Olive, get the bucky. Get the bucky. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this cushion definitely, it adds quite a bit of comfort and uh, it doesn't, I don't hear it too much under the pillows because it, it yeah, that's like a kind of an annoying crinkly noise. But once it's under the, uh, the dog beds, yeah, you don't, can't hear the crinkle. I like it. <laughs> so I'm glad I got the uh, sleeping pad or sleeping mattress, the blow up mattress, whatever the heck it is. Uh, when you're, uh, it's definitely nice though, underneath the dog bed. Definitely adds another another level of comfort, so. So friends have arrived. There's, <laughs> there's uh, one, two, three, four, five more people, and two, four, seven more dogs. <laughs> also, Jennifer and Jason are coming, but not until tomorrow which means 
one more dog. So there'll be <laughs> so there'll be ten dogs, nine dogs altogether. And uh and I think that's all that's going to come for this trip. Bruce stopped by and I think he's going to stop by again tomorrow because uh, our camp, our regular camp is just uh, not too far from here. So yeah, just gonna come up for part of the day. I'm trying to psych people up to reclimb the butte. I know uh, Jennifer and Jason will at least do part of it with me. We'll see about the others. <laughs> so. I went all the way to the very top. If you watched that video, you'll know. So if you just go to this level here, then you can see the Grand Canyon and stuff and you get an amazing view. Uh, it's re It really gets hard once you go up the red part, it's just that little part on top. It's very steep. Um, I mean, it's still a trail. It's still manageable. It's just very tiring. So hopefully people will uh, come with me and we'll just go to that lower level. I'm not sure. Unless I wake up with a huge amount of energy, then, you know, maybe I'll be talked into going all the way back to the top. <laughs> my messy little camp over here, all my doors open. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes in the tent tonight. Well, first night in, <laughs> in this tent, uh, it went pretty well, actually. It's uh, pretty cozy in there. It it could be a little bit bigger because uh, the top of my head and the bottom of my feet touch each side of the tent. But it didn't bother me that much. And uh, I slept well until about 5.30 in the morning when the ravens it sounded like they were on top of my tent and they were just loud <laughs> if you've heard a raven before you know how loud they can be and yeah so part of our our group left because they weren't enjoying camping <laughs> which is okay uh that's what this was for everyone's sort of um figuring out what works for them I think most of us have camped in our lives. We've definitely all camped in vans and RVs and stuff like that, but um, I think most of us have also camped in uh, tents, but I think it's been a while for most, most of us. So yeah, like I said, we're trying to figure it out what works. <laughs> and uh, there's a good chance we're gonna do a longer trip with the uh, combination car and tent. So that should be fun. Um, complete change of um, location and scenery would be appreciated. So, yeah, I'm going to spend one more night here. Uh, I'm going to uh, wear earplugs <laughs> for the ravens. And there's still a chance, even though I'm not holding my breath, that uh, another couple of friends are going to join us here. But the sun is uh, getting pretty low in the sky, so if they're going to get here and set up a tent, unless they plan to do it in the dark, they better get here pretty soon. So like I said, I'm not holding my breath. But yeah, it was, you know, I, I like it here actually. It's, it's extremely peaceful. Um, a different kind of set of bugs that, than I'm used to. Uh, I mean... You know, it's just a lot more ants, and um, I don't see any tarantula hawks or giant beetles like uh, back where we normally stay, and uh, no lizards, um, the little tiny lizards that we're used to seeing, we haven't seen any of those. And the little mattress that I blew up, that worked out really well. Yeah, and Olive was comfortable, I just brought uh, a pillow that she likes to lean on and lay on top of sometimes in addition to her dog bed i think that helped her feel more comfortable that she had one of her favorite pillows and um the only bad thing about this place it uh, i was just attacked by i don't even know what kind of uh insect it was 
everyone says something different. Somebody says it's flies, somebody says it's uh, gnats. Uh, I, I have no idea. I'm not seeing, I mean, I see plenty of things flying around, but whatever it was, uh, it just ate me alive and I was covered in bug spray. I had a feeling that I needed bug spray here. And uh, it's not just little bites, it's uh, they're w welting up really large and uh, it's uh, very uncomfortable. <laughs> so, so, yeah, and it's a little too warm not to wear short sleeve you know, shirt and shorts. It got to mid-80s here today, so... I don't know. We're gonna get out of here tomorrow. We'll see if our other friends come. They really wanted to do this hike again. Well, they've never done it. I've done it. Uh, if they come tonight, then I will go with them tomorrow and hike that as long as they can get up and do it early enough. Because I don't want to do it when it's like 85 degrees for sure. So there's a possibility we might, we might do that hike again. Uh, and if not, we're just gonna get out of here. <laughs> uh, two nights, three, or two nights, two days-ish is enough for this place. I would come here again, but uh, yeah, I've, I've, but I've had enough for now. <laughs>